Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra and today we are doing a patio makeover. You're probably wondering, why are you doing a patio makeover at the end of summer? Well friends, couple reasons. One, COVID ruined our whole shooting schedule. So this, <laughs> this shoot has been pushed to the very last minute. But the second reason is we are all spending so much more time outside. And I feel like if you live in a small apartment, having an outdoor space, no matter how tiny it is, is so important right now. Here in Toronto, there's no doubt in my mind that we will be out on our balconies or our patios until at least October. Maybe that's pushing it a little bit, but at any rate, I know that this patio is gonna get a ton of use in the next couple months. Before we get started, I wanna give a huge shout out to Native Deodorant for sponsoring today's video. I have worked with them before. I am obsessed with their deodorant. They've also come out with new body wash that I've been using. More about them later on. But for now, let's get started. Today we are at my videographer Carla's home. You guys all know and love her. We actually made over her entire apartment. It has over a million views. Crazy. Over a million. So I'm gonna link that video up here. It's part of our Studio Fix series. But today we are tackling her outdoor space. And I wanted to bring her in because I know you guys are gonna ask, some of you already have, this beautiful catio on her patio. Can you tell the viewers in like, five sentences. I think how you DIY'd it. it. Well, they're gonna love this because it's an Ikea hack. Basically, I grabbed three of the Ikea shelves that I don't know how to pronounce. The so pine bookshelves? We'll just pop in the name right here. And I put the shelves together and kind of just made spaces so that the cats would be able to jump from shelf to shelf. The only other thing you really have to do is build a separate door. So I just went and got a few more pieces of wood, and some hinges and some locks and a cute little uh, knob for the door. You just build it like a little frame. I stained the whole thing. I grabbed some chicken wire and I just stapled all the chicken wire to the outside of the catio. And then I found these little mats at the dollar store actually that uh, help with the spaces in between the pieces of wood on the shelves. That's pretty much it. And they love it. Thank you for sharing that DIY with the viewers. My pleasure. I know you guys are gonna love it. If you do this hack on your own patio, make sure you send in a photo of it to my Instagram, DM me, because then we can admire your, your catios. So you gotta leave. Okay. I'm We're out. gonna surprise you. For once, Carla isn't shooting an AG video. It's Kayla, our friend Kayla, who also edits on Team AG. She's filming today, so it's gonna be a surprise for you. I'm excited. Are you excited? Of course I'm okay, excited. Okay, get out of here. We gotta get started. <laughs> So Carla's left for the day and let's take a look at what this patio is looking like now. So as you can see from the before is this patio is looking a little bleak, a little gray. There's a picnic table, there's some more furniture. Carla just really hasn't had time to put much thought into it, but she wants this to be a space where she can entertain, where she can lounge, and of course a space for the catio. So since we shot those befores, a couple things have changed. Obviously the catio has been installed. It tucks in really nicely beside the door. And we also installed a beautiful new patio light. I wanted her patio light to match the rest of the vibe. So that's brand new, it looks so good. And now what we're gonna do is install a new floor. So because Carla lives on the second floor, there is no hose access up here. It's really hard to clean the deck and it was just looking really grimy. So we added this really simple click flooring from Ikea. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. I went with the black because we're doing lots of black decor, lots of woods. Floor went in, it was really easy to assemble. As you guys can see, Alana and I are just clicking it into place. It actually makes the space look bigger. And Carla can have this down all year round. It's really easy to clean and just looks, yeah, just looks really sleek and good. Next up, we're gonna add a really huge rug to this outdoor space. This is from Ruggable. We are using one of their outdoor rugs, which is also machine washable, which I think is so key for an outdoor space. You can leave it out all season, and then at the end of summer, toss it in the wash, store it away for the winter, and it's brand new next summer, which is awesome. It's a big rug, but we want it to fit under the dining table we have. So let's go do that now. Hey friends. 
I hope you're enjoying the makeover. I just got out of the shower. We're in my bathroom. And I wanted to talk about this week's sponsor, Native deodorant. I am so excited to be partnering with them again. You may have heard the story about how I have been using drugstore deodorant for years. First ingredients, aluminum. My mom was always like, please don't put that under your arms, in your body. And so when Native Deodorant approached me a while ago, I was like, I have to try the deodorant first before I endorse it. Because honestly, natural deodorant just has never worked for me. But... Since they last sponsored me, I have been using their deodorant. I have so many different scents and I love it. It's the only deodorant I use. One, because it is sulfate, aluminum, paraben free. It's vegan. It has ingredients in it that we all know and recognize like coconut oil. It has spearmint extract, shea butter. But I also am obsessed with the scents. I find that it's not sticky. I find that I smell fresh throughout the day or I smell like the scent that I'm wearing. Sometimes even I'll wake up the next morning and still smell like my deodorant. I have been loving the cactus flower and poppy scent. I've been using this for, I don't know, like two months. This one's cucumber and mint. They also have a eucalyptus one as well, which is so good. And recently they have launched a new line of body washes. I have been using Sweet Peach and Nectar, which is such a fun summer fragrance, but I wanted to show you guys this one, the Citrus and Herbal Musk. If you have a partner in your life that you want to smell so good, this is the scent to get them. It smells so good, like musky, but also like citrusy. It's so, so good. And what I love about the packaging on this is on the back, it tells you the ingredients and it says, ingredient what it actually means so the first one's water and then what it actually means you know this one sodium laurel sar something something and what it actually means is cleansing salt so all the ingredients are so transparent even if they look scary they tell you what it actually is so impressed with native deodorant i'm never going back to that drugstore kind if you want to try native deodorant i of course have a discount code for you and seriously guys like just try it just try it just try it and you will be converts, I, I promise. Three deodorants are usually $36, but if you use my code and my link in the description box, you'll get three deodorants for $24, which is 33% off plus free shipping. So go use it and get the citrus flower and poppy deodorant and the citrus and herbal musk and the sweet peach and nectar. Those are my like top, top scent faves. Okay, back to the makeover. Okay, so the rug's down. I really like it. It is pretty big, but I think it's gonna frame the table really nicely once the table's in. But speaking of furniture, it's now time to bring in the most beautiful day bed I have ever laid my eyes on. This is from Article's Outdoor Furniture Line. You guys know I am obsessed with Article. Thank you so much for gifting all of this furniture to Carla. I also feel like this day bed would work so well inside, so you could bring it in in the fall if you have room, or it can just stay outside. Article sells amazing covers that protect outdoor furniture so well. It's what I use on my article furniture and it stays really great throughout the winter. And then we're also gonna bring in this beautiful dining table. Now, this dining table is quite large and in charge, but we picked it for a reason. Carla doesn't have a ton of eating space in her apartment, so she really wants to maximize all the space she can out here. And this is why we're doing a beautiful harvest table with these amazing green armchairs for a pop of color. Cute. So I kept going back and forth with the placement of everything because these are large pieces of furniture and this is a small space. Alana and I had mapped it out before and I knew it was all gonna fit, but finding the right position for everything just took a little bit of trial and error. And I found the key was centering everything to the rug. So centering the daybed within the rug and then pushing the table right against the wall where it kind of juts out here. So we're making use of that space and it doesn't feel too cramped on this patio, but Carla still gets everything that she wanted. A huge table to entertain, a place to relax, and obviously we're gonna add in tons of accessories. Now I knew we needed some string lights and because this patio is so small, I wanted to close it off even more and make it really cozy and intimate by stringing lights above everything, basically. So you'll notice that Carla has two cup hooks already right at the top of the wall where the roof starts. Those were there from the previous homeowner. So I knew I could attach the lights up there, but obviously we need something to attach the lights to over here. So I just went to the hardware store, got some two by four posts, 
and I'm nailing them into the corner of this wooden fence. And then we're gonna string the lights up and across the deck. It's gonna look so good. I also cannot wait to see this at night when they're all and they're all glowy. Okay, let's do this. Wish me luck on this mini DIY adventure. Sports is not my strong, is not my strong suit. I don't, I'm not into sports. I don't do sports. No, I really don't. Oh, here I go. Here I go. <laughs> We're fine. <laughs> We're fine. I need to do another nail on the bottom, but it's, it's in there, it's sturdy. It's gonna be good. I don't do sports, but a DIY. Bunch of nails are in. This guy is super sturdy. This looks so good and it was so easy. Just two two by fours nailed into the fence and now it looks like a restaurant patio, just like that. But looking at it, it's too light, doesn't go with the vibe. So I'm gonna stain them with some black stain. It's gonna tie everything together. You could also use paint. The reason I'm using stain is because it's honestly just easier. Really, we should have done this before we nailed them to the fence. We didn't think of it, and sometimes you just need to see it in a space to like have that light bulb moment. And look at that, what a difference. It's just tying this whole space together. This makeover is coming together so nicely. Now it is time for the finishing touches. Makeover's done. It's time to reveal it to Carla. I'm so nervous. Usually she's on that side of the camera, not this side. I can't wait to see what she thinks. Hopefully she likes it. Let's bring her in. Okay, so before you open your eyes, I want you to picture what this balcony looked like before. It was dreary, Carla. Very, very. It was very dreary. dreary. I didn't even like coming out here you. before. Okay, well, I think you're gonna like coming out here now. <laughs> Are you ready? On the count of three, I want you to open your eyes. Okay. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. <gasps> oh my goodness. Look at it. <laughs> It it's like really it's straight out of a magazine. <laughs> oh, it's like perfect. Yay. It is so, per I can't wait to see it at night. Do you like it? I am so, so gonna take naps out here. Yeah, you are. For sure. You killed it. You seriously killed it. Thanks. Also, you killed the, uh, the catio. I think I did an okay job. You did a great job. And they love it. Archie loves it. Look at his paws hanging out. We should all have a drink out here right now. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Success. Carla loves her new patio. This was such a fun project. And it's actually going to sound because it wraps up the last of our patio makeovers for the season. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this makeover, hit that subscribe button. I have tons more makeovers happening every Saturday that you don't want to miss. And a big thank you to Native Deodorant for sponsoring this episode, making it happen. Make sure you use the code and the link in the description box for that sweet Native Deodorant discount. And I will see you guys back here next week. Bye.